Hi guys, it's Yasmin, and I'm here to teach you guys how to do the knit stitch. Um, it's very simple, four steps, and you're done. Um, first, I'm going to ask you guys to cast on ten stitches. So if you haven't done that, you can pause the video and just cast on real quick ten stitches. Um, now, over here, as you can see, the tail that's not attached to the bowl of yarn, I put it in like a little bow tie just to keep it out of my way. And then the loose, you're going to be using the, um, the tail that's attached to the bowl of yarn, okay? Now, the needle with um, the stitches, you're going to keep on the left side. So you're going to be holding it with your left hand. And then the empty needle you're, is going to stay on the right side, so you're going to be holding it with your right hand, okay? So you're going to kind of have them like held as if you're holding handlebars, okay? Just like this, okay? Okay, the first thing you're going to do over here, you're going to poke this needle through the first stitch, through the first loop right here. Okay, let me get it close to here. So you're going to poke it right through here. Okay, just like that. Okay, so you're poking it through here. And now you're going to make an even X. Okay, and you're going to hold the X with your right hand, just like this. Now you have your yarn in the back, okay, and you're going to pick up the yarn that's attached to your ball of yarn, okay, and you're going to wrap it counterclockwise around the needle in the back, okay? So again, just wrapping it like this. Bring it down here and just hold it on the left needle, just to keep it tight, okay? Now very slowly, you're going to pull the right needle back through the loop, okay? So you're going to bring it back through the loop, pulling the new loop with you, okay? And then you're going to slowly slide it off your needle, the left needle, onto the right needle, okay? So now you, um, you've now knitted one stitch and it was transferred from the left to the right needle. Okay, well let's try this again. So you're going to poke right through the second stitch, make your X, hold it with your right hand, take the yarn from the back, the one that's attached to the bowl of yarn, wrap it counterclockwise around that needle, okay, and now you're going to bring the new loop through and you're going to pull it right off. Okay, now you did the second stitch on the, the second stitch and you transferred it from the left to the right. Again, this is the third, the third stitch. You're going to stick your right needle in right through here. Okay, you make an X, put your hand, hold it with your right hand, wrap the yarn from the back counterclockwise around. You're going to bring the new loop through here and you're going to push it right off just like that okay now you got your third stitch over here and you, let's do the fourth poke through here the back hold with your right hand with the yarn wrap it around okay now very slowly you're going to pull the right needle back through the loop Okay, pulling the new loop with you. And you push it right off. Okay? Again. Poke it in. Do the next one. Hold it with your right hand. Wrap it around. Hold on. Here. Poke it through. And off. In the back, make an X, put the loop around, bring the new loop out, and off. Okay, again, in, X, hold on to the X, loop it around, bring the new loop with you, 
out through here, push it right off the needle, just like that. So insert again, make an X, hold on to the X, wrap the yarn, just like that. Push it through, make an X, wrap it around, And off we go. Let's do the last stitch. Hook in. Same way. Okay. Hold on to the X. Wrap the yarn around. Pull the new loop out. And off the stitch. Okay. There you go. Now, um, the stitch over here, the last one, it's always going to be loose, so don't worry about that. It's going to tighten as you go along, but it's always going to look like this. You know, when I first started knitting, I thought I was making a mistake, but really, that's how it looks. It looks loose, okay? So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this needle, okay, and you're going to bring it back to your left hand. Remember that... Um, you always hold the needle with the stitches on your left hand. Okay, so you're bringing it back to the left hand and um, pull this down this way. Okay, you don't want to pull it back this way, which sometimes I've seen people do, because then you've created an extra stitch. You see how there, you kind of created an extra stitch over here? So make sure this you just pull it down this way. You're going to see that it's loose and you're going to think you made a mistake, but you didn't. This is just how it's supposed to look. Okay, so just pull down your your stitches down like this. Okay, and let's do our the next row. So now what we do, the basically the same exact thing that we did before. Okay, the same exact thing. So you poke your the right needle through. Through, ignore this big loose thing. Okay, this loose part. So just poke your needle through your first loop. I would bring my um, yarn to the point of the needle, you know, not too much, you don't want it to fall off, but just it'll be easier and quicker. So just poke your needle through, hold on just like before, the X, bring your yarn from the back, wrap it around the needle in the back, hold on to it over here, and bring the new loop in through here, okay? And off, just like before. Okay, and I just usually tighten it. Okay, do it again. And through here, make the X. And off. In. Wrap around. Out. And off. In, hold, wrap around, go through here, and out. Okay. In, hold, go around, take the new stitch out, and come right off. In, wrap around. Off. Now if you keep knitting this way, you'll end up with a scarf, okay, and then all you have to do is um, keep doing the knit stitch over and over and over, you know, and eventually it'll accumulate and it'll look like you have a scarf. And I'll, I've owned so many scarves that were just knit with the knit stitch, you know, beautiful scarves, and off, and you come off, okay, and then you just kind of pull them away from each other, okay, there, 
Now you turn it around. Okay guys, so this is how you um, do the knit stitch, basically. Um, I know it looks bad right now, but <laughs> if you keep going, it'll actually look like something. Okay, and remember, um, depending on the yarn you use, your results will look different. Um, try to follow the right um, yarn size for the needle size, or your scarf will come out looking horrible. Um, okay, so basically that's how you do the knit stitch, and I'll meet you next time for the purl stitch. Thanks guys, bye.